What's up, I'm Ian. This is my 1981 shovel head build. So I bought a fat boy, found a guy on Craigslist, asked if he wanted to trade. And he's like, yeah, I'll take you up on that. Drove down to Illinois, traded him straight up, and here we are. You know, I've done a lot of sportsters. Um, wanted to get more into big twins. So I guess I wanted to do a shovel head because, you know, it's, it's, old, it's old enough and new enough to where it's, you know, like I've got friends that their everyday riders are a super reliable shovel head. So it's like, all right, let me do something that, you know, I haven't done yet. It's just a six over skinny Springer in the front. Instead of just finding a Springer somewhere, I got him a hold of my friend Luke and I had him just make me one. It's all out of stainless. Came out amazing. It's not polished yet and you'll see it polished later. Hardtail on a regular stock frame. 16 inch rear tire, solid rim, and an invader in the front. And got a uh, fully rebuilt ratchet top, king queen, whatever. It'll be a two into one exhaust, fish tip, you know, maybe up sweep. A crazy, I don't have like one of those guys in the car shows where they build up a, they draw the whole car out and show you, and they're like, this is what we're building. I'm just kind of going by you know, the next piece at a time and seeing what we come up with. That's kind of how I've always done it, so. I just want like a clean, classic, slick, like chopper. Coming from this side, we're gonna go this way. I think lowbrow is an extremely valuable resource. For someone like me, I usually just go on the internet, but when you go on their website, it's basically like everything you're looking for, you know. If you're looking for that one thing, I mean, chances are they have it. Uh, I suppose I didn't need to take it apart. <laughs> Uh, next time, lining motor, trans, rear wheel, and then we're gonna mount the fender, which you guys will meet Ron, Ronster. I'm really excited for this build. Um, can't wait to see what we come up with, and I'm really excited to see people's reactions on what we come up with. Mm -hmm.